Hello everybody. I hope this finds you well. Um, a lot of thought in what I'm trying to say here. Um, I don't write down scripts. Um, I find it uh, more uh, authentic, more uh, from my heart, as you might say, if I just say what's on my mind as it comes. I have an idea of what I want to talk about. How to proceed is oftentimes the difficult part. Um, the um, argument against God about uh, there's a loving and caring God. Why is there so much suffering? That has been one that I've puzzled over for many years, but I've, I've come to some answers, as I see it. I can only tell you how I see it. Uh, see, um, it is written that everything that is created by God, for God, it is also written that the first thing God created was light. God said, let there be light, and it was good. A new science we have today physics, the study of the, the atoms, how the molecules work, the electrons, and all these things point to the connectivity of all things. And the Bible in Scripture also says God is omnipresent we put the two together God created this light which formed everything this energy is in everything that's what he formed it from Now, God is infinite. He's eternal. Now, those are two different things. Infinity and eternity are two different things. Now, you can have infinite progression, infinite regression in mathematics. You just add or subtract a one to whatever number you get. It keeps going on and on and on. That's infinity. Eternal. Eternal. Eternal is timeless. Infinity requires time. Eternity is timeless. What is it to be outside of time? See, we can't comprehend that. But in time, in this reality, everything comes from the same source. Everything comes from the same thing. An eternal being wanting to explore his own infinity, if you were such a being, would it not be logical to then create in that universe every conceivable possibility of happening in circumstance? Therefore, these things we perceive as evil, 
suffering may only be God experiencing that aspect of infinite, of infinity, exploring his own eternal nature. We should look at these things in a different way. Perhaps it would be your part in that and to explore fighting suffering, fighting evil, as well as that evil's part in experiencing being that evil. It is all connected. We are all connected. Good and bad and ugly. It's all part of the same picture, part of the same universe, a part of the same eternal experience. I could be wrong. What do you think? Just saying. Have a good day, everybody. Peace, love, and understanding. Be with you.